Hi, Westminster. This coming Sunday, we are still in June, uh, June 30th, 2024. And uh, the lectionary has directed us to a wonderful story in the Gospel of Mark in the fifth chapter. We hear about two miraculous healings performed by Jesus, and it's really a story within a story. Jesus is on his way to go heal somebody when he is interrupted by somebody else who is in need of healing. And in both situations, Jesus is dealing with something where other people have given up hope that things will be any different. I know these stories of miracles and especially of miraculous healings uh, these seem like some of the most antique stories in the gospel. After all, nowadays when somebody is sick, they go to the doctor. They don't come to church necessarily as their first stop. But if we see these stories as parables, which I'm quite certain they were for the original community that remembered and retold them as well, as parables, these stories are quite powerful and speak to our current situation quite directly. Certainly, there are things that I have given up hope on. I've really decided that they are never going to be different. Things will never change. Or at least I feel like I could not do anything to change them. What about you? Are there things like that in, in your life personally or maybe in this world where coming up on the election and even this week there were primary elections in new york state did you vote <laughs> do you know people who didn't because it felt to them like it wouldn't make any difference if they did or didn't let's talk about sustaining hope in the face of problems that feel intractable uh, that feel like they could never be different than they are now Whatever that looks like for you, is there a message of hope for you in this week's story? Come and join us in our slightly cooler fellowship hall. We had such a great uh, connected and intimate service down there this past Sunday. I miss the beauty of our sanctuary, but it is so nice to be close together singing, praying, talking, responding, listening to each other. Um, worship in the summer at Westminster is wonderful. Join us in person or online. I'll see you soon.